Good afternoon, Vinyl community. Um, this is the Vinyl Archivist, me, Patrick. Um, this is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I've never actually done one of these, but I have um, two packages. One I've been holding on to till the second package arrived. Um, and that package is from Vinyl community member, Rockin' Ron Beaudry. So I've done some creative carving, so I don't disclose Mr. Beaudry's address, but um, Ron sent me this little VCLT vinyl community loan train. So he's going to let me borrow this for my project. And I sent him a little something for his project. And so I'm going to open this. Notice Mr. Beaudry uses the wonderful um, whiplash mailers, best mailers going. Nicely packaged, media mail all the way. So here we go. I know what's in here, so this is not a mystery. But here's the Baudre packing job. You can get a learn how to do it from his from his channel. Um, and this is the Stephen Wilson remix of Aqualung. So if you're keeping score at home, this now makes nine. Nine pressings. Nine over here somewhere. There we go. Nine pressings of Aqualung that I own. So keep keep track because the numbers are bound to change. So what triggered this is this package right here. So the massive tank of a box that Acoustic Sounds uses. All right, let's get this baby open. There we go. Bubble wrap. Uh, the obligatory advertisement for Disc Doctor. Don't waste your money on Disc Doctor. Make your own solutions. Video for that coming up soon. And in the box we have the UHQR Analog Productions Super Audiophile reissue of Aqualung. So, if you're counting at home, that now makes 10, 10 copies of Aqualung. I just cannot get this camera thing going, but I got 10 copies of Aqualung. So, I'm going to open this right now for you people. I know y'all cannot wait. Here we go, getting the shrink off, because I don't keep that shit. I'll, I'll, I'll move the stickers to another. All right. Is this numbered? I don't see a number. Not yet. Okay, here's the box. All unpackaged. This thing pulls out like so. Oh, I still don't see a number. Alright, here's the, the back spine. There you go. UHQR. Analog Productions. Quality. Record pressing. Comes with a booklet and a little pamphlet on UHQR. 5,000 limited edition pressings. Um, has a advertisement for some upcoming issues. And um, here's the technical specifications for the UHQR. And here's the here's what we're all looking for: the actual album. Um, Comes with a with the lyric sheet, which is how the original came in, and it's got a kind of a textured jacket. Um, not quite the same texture as the UK or the US, but it definitely has a texture. Um, here's the gatefold. Oh, it is numbered. Hang on. Re recreating the gatefold. Here's the number. I have number eight hundred and eleven. Okay, so here's the vinyl. It's on the clear, clear looking vinyl. UHQR recreates the green chrysalis labels. This is what the this is what the original UK came on is the green chrysalis. Vinyl looks good. Uh, let's pull out the second one. So apparently they use the 
the same plates for the 45 RPM classic records cut that Chris Bellman did. So they took those plates and they pressed it on this process. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, you know, I have the 45 RPM classic box set. So how much better is this going to be? Um, I don't know. But um, this will, we will be having a shootout of probably about six or seven different pressings of Aqualung. I, I currently have a DCC. I have a US first pressing with minus 1A stampers. I have a UK first pressing. I have a German first pressing. I have the DCC and I have the classic. And I think that's about it for the contenders. Um, so let me look here. Oh man, this is not good. No bueno. Check this out. There's some some scuffing on the top of the top of the jacket. Not too happy. Almost like there's a split. So I may have to contact them and ask them to get another one. Normally I wouldn't give a shit, but you know this is you know this is going to be a high dollar record in the future. So I would like to get you know as clean a possible as clean a copy as possible. So it's going to take me a while to do the shootout. Um, but I just wanted to unbox this so you guys could see what it looks like and because I've never done an unboxing video and I wanted to thank Ron for the Stephen Wilson um, remix because that will go into the octagon with the rest and um, I'll start working on that soon but um, uh, thanks for dropping by hope this was informative and see y'all later